So we're going to talk about things that are on sale now. We've talked about in the last couple of videos unit price and then markup. So now we're going to talk about sales. Uh, what happens is basically with a sale is you're taking money off of a price. So we talked about the unit price. That's the general price per item. Then we talked about markup, which is what happens when you add to the price. And now we're going to say what happens if we're taking away from the price in order to try to basically attract customers. Okay. So here's an example. You'll, you'll often see something that says at a clothing store, for example, 20% off or 50% off, right? And often what they're trying to do is they're trying to entice you to come into the store. So sometimes you'll even see closing out sales. I don't know if you've ever been to a store where that is, that is actually closing down. You'll see them. Everything in the store is 20% off or 30% off. Sometimes it's because it's out of season. So we're just moving into spring. So if there's any winter wear that's left on the shelves, they may be selling that off at a discounted price because they don't want to store it for the season, that kind of stuff. So there's lots of reason why you might have a sale, but that's what it, what it will say. And what our job is to do is to try to figure out how do I actually calculate that mathematically. All right, so basically what you do, uh, there's two ways to calculate it. So imagine I have this question, a video store DVD that sells for $50 is 10% off. So what's the discount and then what's the actual price you're going to pay? So the discount, we're going to just multiply by, if it's 10%, we're going to multiply that by that percent as a decimal. Okay, so we're going to multiply 0 0.1 by $15 because that's the original price. And we're going to get $1.50. So if you're looking for the discount, to write it as a formula, the discount or the amount that you're going to save is just the original price. And then multiplied by the percentage as a decimal. All right, so the sale percent as a decimal, we'll say. All right, so we're just multiplying the original price for the sale percentage as a decimal. So we get that. Then the sale price is the discount taken off of that. So the sale price. Oops, you just let me write this a little more legibly. The sale price is going to be the original price minus the discount. Okay? So we just take away the discount, we end up with 1350 as the sale price. So we, we can figure out how much we're saving and then we can subtract it to figure out what the actual price is. The other way of doing it is looking at it like this. If, if the rate is 10% off, then you can find the sale price by simply multiplying by one minus that percentage. So the other way of doing it is going directly to the sale price. Okay, so the sale price is gonna be the original price multiplied by one minus the sale percentage as a decimal. So what I mean by that is it would be in this instance, just to show you this example, it's $15 multiplied by 1 minus 0 0.1. That's what we're getting 15 times 0.9. Okay, and that gives me 13.50. So we can look at them. Here's the question is what's the sale price of these items? So it's 20% off, it's 398.99. So I'm going to take 398.99. And I'm going to multiply it by 1 minus 0 0.20 because I want to go directly to the sale price. Okay, so that's 398.99 multiplied by 0 0.8. Okay, and then you're going to take your calculator and we're going to just multiply it out. So 398.99, 99, there we go, times 0.8. So it's 319.19. All right, this one says, you can't see it very well, but it's 219.99 and it's 50% off. So we're gonna go one minus 0.5. So it's 219.99 and we're gonna multiply it by 0 0.5. So we'll grab our calculator again. 
And we'll do that. 219.99 times 0.5 times 109.99. So basically 110 if you round up. All right. And then this one says, what's the discount? So what are you saving? All right. So the discount is just the original price multiplied by the percentage directly. So if I grab my calculator, it's 759 times just put the 0.3. So you're saving, in this case, 227, I think it was. I lost it here. Just give me a second. 227.70. And over here, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take 47.50, and we're going to multiply it by 0 0.25 because we're just looking for the discount, all right, the amount that we're going to save. So again, we're going to take our cal calculator, sorry, take 47.50 and multiply it by 0 0.25, and that gives me 1187.50. So I'm saving 1187.50. Okay, here's a few more examples. What's the sale price and what's the discount? I want you to try them. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is pause the video, do these four questions, and then restart. Just hit play again, and then we'll answer them. I'm going to answer them now. So we're going to take 100 and multiply it by 1 minus 0 0.21, because we're looking for the sale price, all right? So that's 0 0.79 that we're going to multiply by. And that's $79. So that's the sale price. This one, we're just looking for the discount. So we're going to take $18.50, and we're going to times it by 0.45. So if I do that, take my calculator, and go $18.50 times 0.45, and it gives me $8.33. So we'll go $8.33 here. Okay. Then if we go down... We're going to take 99.99 and multiply it because we're looking for the sale price by 1 minus 0.3. So that's 99.99 multiplied by 0 0.87. Okay, so we go 99.99 times 0.87, and it's 86.99. And then the other one is asking again for a discount. So we're just going to take $22.99 and multiply it by the percentage right away, so by 0 0.05. All right, and if I do that, I get one fifteen. so I saved $1.15. So that's the idea behind both sale price and finding the discount. Okay, so here's another chart you can go through. Uh, I'm not going to go through all this with you. I will show it to you full screen, though, on the video, so you can kind of look at them together. Um, I'm not sure how well you can read it because it is a copy from a, another document, but it just says, the first one says, a pair of shoes regularly sells for $45, and it's discounted 20% off. So we'll do that one, and then I'll let you do the other ones on your own. So the discount is 45 times 0 0.2. That's going to give me my discount. Okay? And you can use your calculator or not, all right? But you get $9. That's your discount. So we're going to put that down here. We're saving $9. Then the sale price becomes 45 minus that discount, minus 9. So that gives me 36. So the sale price is $36. And that's how you're going to do every single one of these questions. Okay, take the original price, times it by the percentage off, expressed as a decimal, and then just subtract that from the original price to get the sale price. Okay, we're going to skip over that. And we're going to do a couple of these. Uh, again, this is a task for you to try. So I would encourage you to try it. Here's all of it at once. And I would encourage you to just pause the video again and then um, go through them. And then uh, your teacher maybe can, can tell you what the answers are for all of them. I will do the first one just to show you. But it says, what's the sale price? 
So what we're going to do is we're going to take $14 and times it by 1 minus 0 0.2. So that's going to become 14 times 0 0.80. And then we're going to just do that. And again, I'm doing these on the calculator so you can see what I'm doing. You can do them with mental math if you want to, and I would encourage you to do that. But it comes out to $11.20. So that's what we're paying for the scarf, and all of these are the same. They all follow the exact same pattern, okay? Now, when you get down to number seven, you'll notice what happens, actually, uh, number six, now you're asked for the discount and then the sale price. So in that case, you're doing what we did before. We're gonna take 40 and times it by 0 0.25 first, which is gonna give me 10. And then, that, so that's the discount. Okay, and then we're going to take our original amount, 40, and subtract 10, and get $30 is what we're actually selling it for. That's the sale price. And again, you can try the rest of these on your own. It's very similar. Okay. So these are from your textbook, I believe. Right, there's a couple of examples first. So here's one. It says Subway offers a promotion that if you buy a regular six inch sub, you get the second one at half price. So what happens is now you're not giving a percentage, but you are saving money. So you're going to, it says, how much would you pay? So for part A, we get, we pay 450 for the first one and then half of 450 for the second one. Okay. So all we have to do is figure out what's half of 450. So we take 450 and divide it by two, which is 225, and then we add 450. So we would pay a total of 675. Okay. Now it says, what's the percentage discount? So for part B, you'll notice the percent savings is your savings divided by your regular price. Your regular price, 450 and 450, is nine dollars. You have saved then. $2.25. Okay. And where I'm getting that from, in case you're saying, well, where did you get $2.25 from? I took nine, which is my original. If I don't get a sale, I would pay nine and I subtract the $6.75. That's what I'm actually paying to get the difference. That's what I'm saving. Okay. And then I'm going to times this by 100. So I, again, I take my calculator and I take $2.25 divided by nine. And then times it by 100, I get a 25% savings. And you'll see promotions like this fairly regularly that say buy one, get half off or something like that. All right. Um, oh, sorry, I skipped one. Here's another example. Because a video game store is offering the most recent Call of Duty game for a 20% discount from its original price of $79.99. Walmart's going to give you $77.99 with a coupon of $10 off. So different type of sales. We want to be able to compare them. So what we're going to do for the first one, so it's a video gaming store, so I'll just call it store one. We're going to find the sale price for that by taking $79.99 and multiplying it by one minus, we're saving 20%, so one minus 0.2 which is 79.99 times 0 0.8, okay? And that will give you my sale price. So again, I'm gonna just grab my calculator and go 79.99 times 0 0.8, and it's 63.99. Now, Walmart's deal is a little bit different, okay? Walmart is giving you a price of 77.99 and then subtracting $10. So when we do that, we get $67.99. So Walmart's going to sell it to you for $67.99. That's Walmart. And the video game store is going to sell it to you for $63.99. The question asks you which one's the better price. So we can say this one is, the first one. Okay. And then it says, what's the price after tax? So if you, if you add tax, assuming we're in New Brunswick, we're going to mark this up by 15%. So we're going to multiply by 1.15 which you probably remember from the last video when we did markup. If you don't, I'd encourage you to go back and look at, at the markup video. But we're going to take $63.99 and times it by 1.15. So it's going to be $73.60 or $0.59. Cents. 
actually. I think it doesn't round. Does it round up? No, it doesn't. So it's 73. I think it's 73. Let me check. Yes, yeah, 73.59. And that's how much we're actually going to pay. So that's the idea. There's lots of other questions that you can do. But that's the idea. There's a couple more here. Um, these are from your textbook, so I'm not going to bother doing them. You can, you can look at them um, and sort of go through them. So this one says you're going to take a jacket. Excuse me, discount the jacket. And then you're going to add tax, all right? So if we look at this, this is the last thing we'll look at. And then there's a few from your textbook. And again, you can go through the notes that, you, that I'll, I'm assuming your teacher will provide to you. But um, we're given different things. And we're told you can get $20 off or you can get 20% off. And we want to know what the better deal is. So $20 off, that column's easy. You're just going to subtract 20 bucks from each of them. So if it's 139, now it's 119.99. If it's 49.99, now it's 29.99. If it's 26.99, now it's 6.99. So 20 bucks off is just subtract 20. 20% 20 off is a little bit different. Okay, so 139.99 with 20% off, we're going to times it by 0.8. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 139.99 times 0.8, and it's 111.99. That's where I'm getting at. So basically, you're just going to multiply by 0.2 or 0.8, sorry, okay, for each of these. Okay, so you're subtracting 20, and I know there's a whole bunch of these. Uh, there's a lot there, but let's just look at these first three, and you can look at the rest of them in your notes. But if you look at this, you'll notice it says which is the better deal. So in this case, 20% off is the better deal because it's smaller. This guy, $20 off, is better. This guy, $20 off is definitely better, right? $59.99, $20 bucks off is better. $39.99, $20 bucks off is better. At $100, at $99.99, they're actually the same price. At $89.99, the $20 off is better. At $42.99, the $20 off is better. And then with the widescreen TV, 20% is way better. And I'm hoping what you're noticing, because we're doing the same calculation every time. That's why I didn't go through it every time. But what you're noticing, hopefully, is that 20% off gets better as the price gets above $100. Because 20% of $100 is 20 bucks. So as soon as you get over $100, uh, that's when the 20% is going to be better. Anything under $100 is going to be cheaper if you take 20 bucks off. Okay. And you'll notice that there's two different types of promotion in stores. You'll notice that some stores will say $20 off or save $5 or save a certain amount of money. And others will say save a percentage. The percentage is actually less if you're under whatever 100 times that percentage is in terms of the price, original price. Once you go over that, then, then the percent is better. Okay. So in this case, we only the percent was only better. For the two things that were over $100, and you'll notice at $100, this one $99.99, they're the same price. Okay, so we'll leave it at that. That's how you calculate sales, but there are textbook questions that I will just refer you to. Okay, and they're in the notes. You can access these notes and look at these three questions, uh, or you can look at them here and just pause the, the video and try to do them. There's three there, and then three more, I think, or maybe, yes, three more. So there's this one. There's this one, and then finally there's this one. And I would encourage you to try them all, and then check in with your teacher to see if they have done them correctly.